Moving on to my third play, we're looking at Central Michigan traveling to South Florida. Central Michigan currently 0-3 on the season. Last year, they were 10-21. and South Florida, one of the few teams that's only played one game this year, but they are 1-0 so far. Has not been good for Central Michigan. They've played two high major teams, got blown out in those games, but they did play Louisiana Monroe. I actually had money on Central Michigan. They not only did not cover, but they did not even win as they were, I believe, about four and a half point favorites at home. Losing to Louisiana Monroe is very disturbing. Louisiana Monroe projected to finish last in their conference. They were at home and they were still not able to win here. Uh, this is a team that looked slow, unathletic, and, you know, looking at their roster, they have a lot of new players and they're young guys. It's not like they're bringing in transfers and Juco guys. Uh, this is one of the few teams that, you know, you look at nowadays that brings in freshmen and probably not a very good idea. Uh, they haven't been very successful doing that. On the other side, looking at South Florida, uh, as I said, they're 1-0. They dominated South Carolina State 96-52 to in a 44-point victory. They had five players in double figures. Chris Youngblood led them with 19 points. Um, they held South Carolina State to 32% shooting from the floor. They only returned one starter from last year's team, but they do have some solid transfers. And overall, this is a team that's known for their defense. They're also very, very strong on the glass. Um, last season, they were ranked 34th in the country in rebounds per game. So, Again, I don't love South Florida. I wish they had more guys returning, but I've seen Central Michigan in person. I've seen – I lost their bet to Monroe. I won when I took Florida State to crush them, and they did. And uh, it's not going to go well for Central Michigan here. I'm taking South Florida. I'm trying to see what – do you have the spread up by chance, Nate? Yeah, give me one second. Feel like it was uh maybe 17 or something. 17 and a half. Yeah, 17 and a half. Um, I think South Florida covers this fairly easy. I also don't mind the under in this game as well. As I said, South Florida, very good defensive team. Central Michigan is going to really struggle to score. 146 is the under. Um, but my official play is going to be South Florida to cover this 17 and a half point spread. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take, um, you know, having capped this game, I'm going to go ahead and ride with you with the uh, South Florida. We know Central Michigan is not a very good basketball team. Um, so I'll, I'll definitely lean South Florida there. Good deal. Good deal.